God is good, and with each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Baldur's Gate 3. Now, we all kind of knew this was coming. There were some teasers released that we were all kind of like, hey, pretty sure, pretty sure Larion's going to go ahead and announce Baldur's Gate 3 at E3, that kind of thing. Now, what we definitely didn't expect was that it would be announced during the Google, was it Stadia, Stadia, whatever, the streaming platform and blah blah it looks like garbage to me uh no exclusive games etc because if Baldur's Gate 3 was exclusive to this system I might have to dive in at least for a little while to play the game but it's not don't worry it's also going to be available standardly download you know physical copy that kind of thing for the PC thank god because the Google Stadia Stadia whatever I'm not impressed but that's not what this video is about. I want to talk about Baldur's Gate 3. Keep in mind that some of the footage shown in this video will be from Baldur's Gate 2 and the original Baldur's Gate, the enhanced edition that we got not too long ago when the consoles will be getting very soon. If you've never played the Baldur's Gate series and you love Dungeons and Dragons, I don't know what you're doing with your life. I'm going to replay them. I've not played the enhanced editions. As a matter of fact, I haven't played these games in so freaking long that it will almost be like a new experience and you know i'll be remembering it as i play i'm sure but what we do know from this trailer is number one you can see that this knight in this video is being turned into a mind flayer this is how they reproduce so we're getting to see and, and you can also see that it's it's like an invasion because in the background at one point you can see their mode of travel through the universe the tentacle thing up in the sky you can also see that lots of other beings have been transformed into these mind players and that this looks like this is going to be what the story is about in the new Baldur's Gate game. It's been a ridiculously long time since we had a new Baldur's Gate. So long that up until here recently I thought maybe they would never revisit it. But when they did the enhanced editions, I kind of felt like, are we gonna are we gonna go back and do some are we gonna have a new Baldur's Gate? And and sure enough, here we are. Hopefully we get some gameplay footage as E3 continues on. That would be cool. Have no idea if that will happen or not. You can guarantee though I'll be covering it if there's any well not if but when there are updates to Baldur's 3. Now we know this so far at least they're talking about the game should be coming out in 2020. It'll be available for the Google Stadia, also PC, thank God. And let's talk a little bit about these mind players, okay? Because as you know, probably, the Forgotten Realms in Baldur's Gate, I guess you could say Baldur's Gate, uh, takes place in the Dungeons and Dragons universe, which is awesome. And so we can we can dig a little bit into Dungeons and Dragons mind players and maybe get a little peek into what we're looking at. So real quick, I'm just going to talk about these awesome creatures called mind players. They've made their way into lots of other fantasy realms, such as Final Fantasy has them, and yada, yada, yada. The, the mind players are like rulers of the mind, okay? They're evil and sadistic. They're feared, and they're capable of ridiculous psionic abilities, okay? Powers of the psychic type, okay? They're, they're from the Underdark areas, uh, which the Underdark is kind of like the underground, like deep, deep underground caves and tunnels. And there's a, uh, apparently in the Underdark, there is a whole lot of evil creatures living there that were driven down into the Underdark towards the end of the Age of Demons. Now, as you can see in the video, the Mind Players, they're, they're a humanoid type. They kind of have the octopus look with the tentacles everywhere. They're actually considered amphibians. You can see, get a good shot of them at one point in this video of their feet, which are webbed. They're very sensitive to bright light, I would assume because they've been in the Underdark for so long. As a matter of fact, bright light is very painful to them. And we can pretty much just get a good look at what they look like, honestly, just from looking at them. I think they're well represented in this trailer. But now the Mind Players, they're slavers, they're planar voyagers, they travel. Through the planar dimensions, they're considered to be masterminds. They're known for using other creatures to extend their goals or their plans, and they have a hive type mentality. So there is a, a like an ultimate brain power that is that they all can communicate through and get direction from, kind of thing. They appear to have no devotion to any other race in existence except for their own. And it is said that the Mind Flayer mind 
only knows negative emotions. So the only kind of positive energy they could possibly feel would come from pride or maybe satisfying their curiosity through domination and destruction. They can do things like mind blast to stun foes and, and, and drag them off to feed on them. Now once it feeds on a victim, it attaches tentacles and sucks out the brain. They have a very brain-rich diet, okay? Uh, of course, sucking out a brain of a creature would kill it, and then they enslave this creature that they just sucked its brain out and keep them under control. And apparently, this is a part of the reproduction and uh, in some in some fashion. And this person can be actually become a mind player. Now we'll we do know that Baldur's Gate 3 will remain faithful to the D and D universe. Um, it will the Forgotten Realms and all that kind of thing. So we know that we can glean some of this information about the Mind Flare now that we know for sure that looks like that's going to be the issue and the problem going on in the storyline for the game. So we know that. And we also can have a lot of trust that this game is going to be fantastic because we can look at the other games that's been coming out from this developer a very awesome developer if i do say so myself because divinity original sin one and two are absolutely fantastic so we kind of we kind of already know how good these guys are i don't know if they've ever made anything that actually sucked in my opinion i don't think they have and so there's a good reason to be excited about this game I wanted to make sure that you saw the trailer. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Mind Flayers and why I'm so excited to see them represented in the game. I can't wait to see what the actual game itself looks like. I'm hoping that it is somewhere in the realm of something like Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm hoping that that's kind of the graphic. You know, it doesn't have to be that style of graphic necessarily, but at least that quality because it has a very high quality, in my opinion, graphic engine and a, a excellent game. So we'll have more information soon. Hopefully there's a little bit more information released to E3 since they are talking about it's released in 2020. I think they should go ahead and show us some more, some gameplay. I understand they only showed us this teaser trailer mainly because this was just a, a small part of the Google announcement of their, their streaming platform kind of thing. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Are you excited? Did you enjoy the Baldur's Gate series in the past? Are you planning on definitely getting this? Have you already decided you're going to get it even though we haven't seen the gameplay? What do you think guys? And we will talk more about this game as we get more information. I just want to make sure you saw the trailer. We'll talk about these mind players. Thanks for joining me today. I'll have more when I know more. And until next time guys, God bless and happy gaming. Please listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. My friends all say I'm It's a video buffet You can even hit replay But please just subscribe I can't even describe Being part of my tribe I'll even offer you a prize But just please just subscribe And hit the bell notification too